Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is day one of planting the buffalo grass. So today I'm gonna put, I have two different kinds here. Oh, I'm sorry about the wrinkly sound, but it can't be avoided. It's a little bit windy out today. I have a half a pound of this variety, and I'm really not sure what variety it is. It doesn't say anything on the bag. This is Sundance, and this is three pounds. This is a half pound. I paid $30 a pound for this. This was $90 for this bag. This was 30 for a half pound. I think I got ripped off on, on this. I think I made a dumb move. But we'll see. I'll plant this separate from this and we'll see what the difference is, if any. Both of these have been bred as a turf grass. They are the only American native short growing turf grass. And I'm going to be using the turf varieties along the edges of the oak savanna restoration on this hill back here. I'll show you all that in a little bit along the side of this hill and on the road. This needs a good deal of sun, so its location is, is limited by that. But I would rather have this and, well, we can cut it if we want. This is a low-growing grass. It grows six to eight inches, so, you know, full-grown, it could be this big or maybe that big which isn't that bad. Right around the house here on the side of the septic, all that is a perfect place for this turf buffalo grass. And I'll be growing just regular old buffalo grass in the oak savanna itself. So the first stage with the seed is to soak it for two days. I got two buckets, keep this stuff separate. This is the bag they sent along. You want to put it in a bag. You can just soak it in the water, but you really should put it in a bag so that you can change the water. You have to change the water after a day. So it's going to soak for two days in water, and then I'll be planting it. And in between that time, I'll be getting the areas ready. So first things first, let's get this stuff soaked. Okay, the reason for soaking them, these are the seeds. They're pretty bizarre looking. Don't look like your normal grass. They have this green dye on them. And the company says it's to, oh, what do they call it? Um, I forget what they call it, uh, but I, I guess it means that they're stratified. Oh, primed, that's what they... That's what they say, that uh, this signifies that the seed has been primed. And I think what they're saying is that it's been stratified and they just kind of dumbed down the language. So it's primed and ready to go, which means I'm guessing that it was stratified. But either way, the seed is pretty hard. So I'm guessing that um, you soak them to soften them up and to get water, they, they say it's to get water into these holes here and to swell it up a bit. That probably is true as well. So a little bit of both, I guess. So I'm gonna put this company's seed in this bag. I have a big, a big bag from uh, Roundstone. That is not the company that I got these from. I don't think Roundstone even sells buffalo grass. If they do sell buffalo grass, it's probably the straight buffalo grass, not turf grass which would be fine. I would buy it from them, the turf grass from them, when I get to that point. But this year we're just doing the turf.
again I am sorry about the noise from this greenhouse just a touch windy today but the wind is supposed to be dying down which will be great for the, the next step all right now these seeds I'm not sure if these are dyed or what the deal is with them yes they are dyed you know I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that they are all from the same source and I just got ripped off with these very well could be okay so get these into their bag come on Okay, that's it. Now add water and weight them down. Okay, now, oops, get some weight on these. Okay, that should do it. Now, tomorrow, I will dump this water out and it should be like really nice and green by then from the dye on the seeds change the water and then let it go one more day and in that time i need to have my seed beds ready and the seed beds are going to require a little bit of raking a little bit of burning a little bit of this and that so let's get at it okay now for the site prep seeds are in there soaking this is where it's going to get planted. I already have some grass that's up and I'll probably spray that with glyphosate tonight. It's gonna to be two days and all it'll do when I plant, I'll plant around the grass that's there and then the glyphosate will kill what's there and there'll be bare spots and I'll just fill those in. So this is the main area though. Um, it's kind of clay soil. It's kind of nasty. This was seeded with uh, any, or perennial rye all through here. And it actually took in the woods and down the hill here and stuff. But right here, well actually this, this right here was planted with oats I believe as well as the side of this hill. So today we're going to prep the side of this hill and this road here. We're going to burn. Um, hopefully it'll burn. It's kind of it's kind of wet, but we have a torch so we can walk around and. Uh, it's pretty dry. Is it? Burn. Yeah. 
I know it'll burn, it'll burn at least partly, but here's our problem. We have this oak tree right here, and I don't know if this thing's going to live or not. When he made this road, he damaged the oak tree right there, and it's pretty bad. It, it's about half of the tree is missing its bark there, and it does not look to be healing. But the tree was fine. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe it'll heal once it gets warmer out. Yeah. Maybe it just went into dormancy. Well, the tree was fine last year. It had all its leaves and stuff. So yeah. I guess w what we're going to have to do is right in this spot right here is where we're going to stack this stuff. We have to get rid of these branches here. I mean, we can go right down to this burn pile right here as well but we might as well just do it here uh, this is going to get burned either way so if we drag that stuff down that stuff is pruned from the winter from this tree right here so that's wet this stuff is at least two years old and possibly a little older i know this this uh plywood is from when we built the house and some of that OSB and stuff is from back when we had a we had a little structure here that we called the shanty. So I mean, this is not going to be easy. I had this piled up. I was going to burn it. It's in a perfect spot, and then we put up this uh, little shelter, this ten by ten shelter last year. And now, if I burn right here, it's going to mess up that shelter. So we got to move this pile and that's it's not going to be easy yeah and i have stuff all the way back here and tree that fell back here we might as well pull that out as well i don't know the wind is going that way oh we got our big our nice big oak right here and if i burned right here i got branches right there so we have no choice yeah. We got to move this stuff. So I'm going to grab some gloves and then we'll, we'll start down on the end here. Well, actually Natalie came up with the idea, just back the gator down all the way back to here. And we're just going to load the gator up and then drive up that way. We'll just go back and forth and we'll have to, we'll have to go a little bit off to the side so that we can get the gator through, but it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, y'all set? Yep. All right, let's get this done.
Okay, we're gonna get her started and then we're gonna start piling this and that and then just drag stuff out of there. Try to get this whole thing onto the fire. All right, let's see if we can get out of the wind and look at this lit. Just turn it on a tiny bit. Look at this. You should hear some sound. I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear it in small. There we go. Hold on. Hold that. Down at the bottom, honey. Ah, uh, we'll see. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. No. Yeah, don't. Don't waste the gas. We'll just turn it off, turn it off, and uh, we'll save the gas for the grass here. And let's just get this, uh, get some stuff on there. The drier, the better, right above the flame. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we got this pretty well done, and anything that's left, if it doesn't burn, it'll get raked out when I plant the seeds, oh, and it really doesn't matter if it's there anyways. So we're going to get the rest of this hill burned, and then whatever's dry all through there, and right through here, and like over to that stump, and... I don't know, possibly around, yeah, we're going to try to get the back of the house too. Um, probably until we run out of fuel, which I don't know, it might not be that long. So Natalie's going to do this. Um, let me get the, here you go, fire it up. And then once, once we're done, you can see all the green amongst the black. I'm going to get in there and, uh, and spray glyphosate. Not easy. Watch where you're going with that. You yeah, accidentally. They accidentally touched it on the dog or something. 
she'll be in real bad shape real quick. So go down to the bottom and start doing it down there. This will be fine, I'll watch this. Yeah, you watch out. So, here's what's left of this. I'll go show you what we were doing over there. There's been a, like a hour break since we were working on this last and Natalie was, Natalie was burning along the road. It started burning over here and we decided to let it go. Keep, uh, keep throwing that stuff in, honey. Yeah, we still gotta get in here and burn along here. But it's, it's pretty good. So we burnt this whole area and up on top of the hill. And it's all out now. So we're not going to do anything with this area this year. So, But a good burn is going to help it out a lot. All right. So we need to consolidate this stuff. And it's getting near time to quit. So we're going to consolidate this stuff and then get the rest of this uh, this burnable stuff along the edges of the road. I'm going to start seeding right back here and work my way this way. Actually, I should uh, mix up a batch of glyphosate right away and get this stuff sprayed while Natalie burns. Okay, so what we're going to need to do, Natalie, is... You continue to burn with your torch. All right. um, just get get whatever you can through here and then right along the inside edge here, okay. the leaves and stuff. All right. uh, that stuff up there, right behind you. Okay. And around the house. Uh, it should be, I mean, that's paper on the house. So. Yeah. Um, Ah, maybe we'll just leave that. Yeah, we could do that too. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna mix up some glyphosate and start spraying where we're gonna plant the buffalo grass, and you keep burning. That'll work. does not mess with the sound too much. This is what we got burned. We had a hose on our mud flap to put the fire out, so no chance the barn was going to light up on fire. Pretty much this whole field is burned here. Got rid of most of the leaves. And this is where we are going to start with the buffalo grass right into here. I'm going to have to spray this. I just set up another two gallons of glyphosate. I'll have to kind of taper it in. This is all going to be 
buffalo grass and other native grasses at some point but for now this is going to remain a nurse grass for the most part there's other stuff planted in here i'm not sure if it's going to come up or not okay this is the road gonna have to scratch this in to get the seed in this stuff is really nice and soft so won't be much of a problem here but this is a little bit hard so gonna be a bit more difficult to scratch it in I don't want to go more than a half inch otherwise the seed will be too deep but I definitely don't want to till or anything because then you bring up weed seeds and it's just a mess so after lunch it is almost 3 30 so we're going to come out here again and just spray and rake and some other stuff over further down i think natalie can burn more the side of the septic mound she can burn that while i spray glyphosate but that is it for this video yeah, we'll have to tend this too. So if we get out here within an hour, we'll have maybe two more hours to work tonight. Good job, honey. Thank you. Yeah, it looks really nice in here. That'll be real nice with this buffalo grass here. Yeah. Then, mm -hmm. then if it seeds, we don't have to worry about the seeds washing down because the buffalo grass is a native grass and It'll be just fine if it goes down that way. Okay, so tomorrow, what's that? It looks so nice to have that pile out of there. It was so ugly. Yeah. Well, that was just in the middle of nowhere before this road was in here. You know, it was just kind of off. Uh, it was composting, actually. It was kind of a compost pile. And uh, this sheet stuff was, was rotten as all hell. It would have just disappeared in a little yeah. while. The big sticks and the stuff. Yeah, the branches would have been there for a while. Yeah, it is nice having it gone. And it'll be really nice once we get this mulberry tree and a couple more trees out of here. But this is really not the priority this year. The stuff back here where we started and over where we've been cleaning, that's going to be the priority this year, I think. Whatever we do, we got to get it done in not too long of a time. You just got a short window in spring to get this stuff done. Okay, so tomorrow I'll be draining the water from the seeds, adding more water, and then we will be working over here doing kind of the same stuff, but entirely different. So if you want to see that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you give the video a thumbs up and or share it, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.